Hi there, signs of Pisces. This is Kim here to do a reading, and I hope you're doing really well. Um, guys, I'm offering private readings again, so check out the description box below for that information on how to get one. And let me see if that makes it look a little bit brighter. Yeah, a little bit. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to use the good throw and just see what messages want to come out for you. And I hope your day is doing really nice. It's really pretty good. Messages for Pisces. So this can be from your spirit team, from your angels, from your ancestors. The messages are always, um, well, they're meant to help, to help you. Okay, because it's the good tarot, I use them um, <clears throat> upright with this deck. But we'll clarify with the rider weight. Nice. Okay. The energy of like a new start, a new beginning, or taking a leap of faith on whatever new adventure this is that you're creating. And I'll say creating because of the, the zero with this full energy. So... It, because it's the start, it's not anything necessarily completely new to you, but I think that full energy is at all just about thinking before you step or thinking before you take a, a step or a leap. That's nice. your cards okay the outcome <clears throat> that's nice I'm actually gonna leave it at that usually you do too but this is leaving it at you and your energy and I like that feeling so let's just go ahead from here and get some clarifiers so on the bottom the full energy The main issue being this emperor energy. Let me make sure. You know what? Let me check this camera because sometimes. There we go. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So the good tarot. <clears throat> the emperor energy here as the main card. Um, with the empress energy as a challenge. I don't know if I've ever seen it come out like that before. I've um, done a lot of readings. It's an, an interesting <clears throat> it's an interesting position because with the Emperor, the Empress, and the Queen of Earth up here all kind of like touching or intertwined, that energy is coming across as maybe the building up of a really nice bigger energy, like a full, complete energy. I ha might have something to do with your pentacles. It might have to do with um, pulling things together that you've been strategizing on. Because, because the Empress energy as a challenge to me would be like, okay, now you're ready. You need to get ready to receive or be open to receive. Now that you've had a strategy, all that stuff, now, now comes in the divine feminine aspect of it, which is... Not really ironically, but stepping into your own um, energy with the high priestess. So it's like all of this is leading to your high priestess energy, to you getting back into you feeling like you again. Feeling like yourself again. <clears throat> Okay, so the two of air is it really coming across to me as like connected with this six of air card here because it's like 
in the past energy of needing to move past a stalemate or a block. This is what was needed. So the only thing that got in the way from moving past a stalemate or a block in your past was your own thoughts because this is your hopes and fears. So that has to do with moving away from hard times or listening to your own intuition here. Um, it can be even like a, the, the, sh the shift of perspective, like in your mind. The nine of fire is simply um, at, the, at the heart of the matter. It has to do with just not giving up or persevering. Well, and, and there's a lot of other things with that nine of fire. So the nine of fire could be, you know, standing up for something that you want to stand up for, that you believe in, and not backing down. So it can be that too. So there's the Queen of Earth, and, and like I said, I think that has to do with the Emperor, the Empress, but we also have now the Chariot thrown in. You've got some really um, strong energy here, Pisces. This is a, a, so much Earth, and then it's like Cancer's thrown in here. And maybe Aries, Cancer twice. So the three of water energy is how you feel. So this is like you are feeling yourself. You're feeling confident in, you know, what you have created yourself. In fact, enough to be celebratory or, you know what I mean? Like celebrating abundance. The chariot is, is definitely the card letting us know that you're getting to where you want to go with building up great speed or momentum. You're building up momentum. And it is your victory. At the end of the day, this is a victory. The three of water is really nice for you. And then the page of water is the future energy. That's good too. So the page of water can be like a news or a message regarding something that just kind of lifts us up or lifts you up. At the start of something. Okay, the past energy is being clarified. Well, that's nice. Okay, the past energy is being clarified by the Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords energy. Stalemate, some kind of stalemate or, yeah, some kind of like stop, go, stop, go energy. But it, it's because of a decision. And, and this is something that feels more like um, it has to do with the perseverance of some kind of... Th it really has something to do with entrepreneurship, I feel like, with um, all these cards, especially the financial gain, the Nine of Pentacles. There's something that you just did, maybe all alone or on your own. And here in the past, it was like coming to a point where there was something traditional. There was a traditional way of doing something. And I don't think you did the traditional way. So I feel like that was how you figured out how to get past a stalemate or a block. It was by doing something a little bit different. And that's good. That's always a good thing. So some of you, um, for real, could have like a lottery win or something like that. Like somebody could really have won a whole lot of money. Not That's really not looking at that as a good or bad. I'm just saying in the, in the past energy, that could be another issue or something like that. Something like that. And <clears throat> so, why is the Empress a challenge here? Tell me why is the Empress a challenge? The Knight of Cups. Perseverance to keep moving. It's like um, there's almost a, a fear of, of moving forward. Or there's, so, so, what's ending up happening is that somebody's just kind of like running in place. So, they're still running and they're, maybe they're still getting exercise, but they're just running in place. The Knight of Cups might be unexpected movement 
or offer or an opportunity. Sometimes you can see the Knight of Cups whenever um, travel is in the cards for something to do with occupation or something to do with um, an emotional connection. I mean, it can be a lot of things. Intuitively, I think it has to do with collaboration, offer, celebration, and, and abundance. So something becoming more abundant here. And I really think it has to, like, it's got to be due with, with business or um, or really hashing out things at home, like being able to, to master having a home business, which is not an easy thing either. So that might be, that might be what this is about. This chariot energy, oh, it's coming across to me as like Dollywood for some reason. It's given me this, uh. It's giving me this feel like an amusement park feel for some reason. Or like a carousel or something like that. Okay, so maybe maybe there was like a spiritual challenge or a problem or issue that you, where you felt like you went round and round and round and round on. But ultimately, it also was leading to a success. It just kind of appeared to go around and around and around. But, you know, that's the zero. There's your creative force. So the Empress challenge, the challenge with the Empress energy here is simply to get something moving. That, but I can't say simply really because this color, this turquoise color here, is um, symbolic in in my readings for people of a lot of spiritual healing and learning. A lot of spiritual healing and learning. Tell me about the Page of Water because this looks exciting here. Queen of Earth, I think that's about revenue it's about the uh, matriarch it's um it is about keeping some kind of nice order within business within business but it is doing something a little bit different i think you're putting your um intuition and your divine feminine yeah your own intuition and your divine feminine energy first i was looking up there when that card came out because i'm pretty sure that this is about listening to yourself now as you did in the past too as you did in the past when something led you to do something a little non-traditional that is where some where you're being led again that is where you're being led again and i think the challenge is to trust in the things that aren't completely all known because that is a mirror to how you're trusting in yourself every day though anyway so you have to you have to trust you know intuition and trusting your own intuition is not always the easiest thing to do to put faith into either but when it says take a leap of faith i think it is talking about you and your intuition and something to do with business so this is good tell me about this celebration here with the three of water the high priest is coming at, at the top there you know like i said that that's your card it's your energy um it's it's really nice wow there's a celebrating to celebration to a painful ending um there's a celebration of walking away from a painful ending because of something that just didn't work out or wasn't um on the top priority list for commitment but listening to yourself and not repeating a painful cycle will stop from having to it will stop you from having to go through something again so it's it's the end of a painful cycle walking away now th this could be this could be coming across to me here as like um if if there was something we're committed to in business for example with the king of pentacle in reverse that we're wanting to just kind of uh walk away from start something new it's like okay don't look at it as a failure because why? Because you get to learn and you don't go back to that situation. All right. So how does um, Pisces gain momentum? How does Pisces gain momentum with this chariot energy here or this victory? The six of pentacle and the star energy. By making things reciprocal, a give and a take, it's the exchange of the, the give and take. 
It's also about manifesting those things that you maybe have been dreaming about since you were young. Or something like that. I mean, could be about becoming um, very like popular in whatever it is that you do. Or the gifts that you contribute to whatever community or whatever you do. Okay, tell me more about um, the Six of Air, which is listening to yourself next time. Listening to yourself. There you go. Again, listening to yourself, getting out of your head and um, breaking, busting through any kind of limitation that you think is there. Because there is a, a good a good news cycle. It's a good fortunate cycle. What else could we call it? Um, the time when luck is supposed to be on your side here with this Wheel of Fortune. And, and it, so it's directly tied in to how you're thinking things are going to go. So that's the really big important is to listen to yourself, but also trust that things can work out and always be working out for the good for your good. All right. And that is what I've got. I hope you like that. That's a pretty good reading. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pull something from the Oracle of Jeanette gifts just to wrap up the reading. Nice. Tarot deck creator, a visionary. Soul number, numerical symbol for what your heart desires, What, which you can look up um, numerology, your numerology numbers. Um, star attunement. So there again, you have star mentioned here twice. There's something that you just become, that you're just really well known for. It might be like light worker type um, energy too. It says for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension, and life missions. And then this one keeps wanting to come out. So I think it's really important. For you, maybe, aura reader, advisor, photographer, energy reader. It's coming across as something from, um, for, for something, it's like some sign. Parks, recreation, maybe that's again where I'm picking up like valuable <laughs> energy or something like that. Anyway, so go outside, look at the stars. Ask your guides, ask your angels to attune you to the stars that you're wanting to be aligned with. All right. Sending you light and love. Bye-bye.